Alright guys, I'm back, and this episode I plan to finish up that town center. I'm probably going to do a lot of it off camera because I realize I can only have so many episodes where I work on the town center. So I will probably get rid of this crap because I've decided I don't like this thing here. And mouse? My town center. God, I hope no one finds out. That was bad. So I'm going to work on this. I don't want to spend multiple episodes building that thing. It's going to get annoying. And also, a couple announcements. First of all, Mine and Blade Battle Gear, Nerd Boy, which I'm pretty sure is the guy who made it, has said that the NPCs that we've been looking forward to are not actually likely to happen because he got a job. And you can understand that that would mean not wanting to really work on a Minecraft mod that much. And I was really sad that I can't have more NPCs for my village, so I installed Castle Defenders, which is pretty cool. Haven't used that much. The NPCs aren't as intelligent as I've seen from the old versions of the NPCs from, what's it called, Mine and Blade Battle Gear, but they'll do. And they could pr probably help me on my better dungeon raids, too. So yeah, I'll be working on going to the Twilight Forest to grab more circle blocks and building this town center off camera. Alright guys, I just decided to go ahead and name it... Wait. Pegasus. Yay. Okay, now that will not despawn. I should go and grab a saddle. Do I have the materials to do that? No. I don't have any leather. And I want to save any vanilla saddles I find in dungeons for things like ostriches from better dungeons. And I'm working on building up the town center. I'll show you it once I'm done. And then you can comment on it. Oh man, yeah, these things fly. But I need a saddle. And I don't think I can just take the saddles off of my other horses. Which is unfortunate because that horse definitely deserves a saddle. Because you can like ride around on those. I mean fly around on those. You can ride around. Oh god. No, you don't go near my horse. Now I have to be all protective. I don't think anyone will do anything to it. Okay, so. Good thing I had some random apples on hand hate goats. Oh, well, there's a little bit of leather. Oh, goats drop leather. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can murder some goats for some leather for a saddle for this guy. Actually, was he the only goat around? Is that a baby goat? Or is that just a smaller one? No leather. Oh. Yeah, cats just attack stuff. There was a little bird over here earlier, and I thought I might tame it with some seeds. And I went in and grabbed some seeds, and I came out to a pile of feathers and a cat. Alright, well, doesn't look like I'm going to be finding any leather for that. Oh! I might... Hmm. Oh well. I'll get a saddle eventually. Back here. Oh jeez. I'm hunting with my bare hands. Good thing that didn't happen while in combat. No arrows. Okay. Okay, well. I'm gonna sleep and get back to work. Let you know if I get a saddle all set up. See ya. Hey guys, I'm back. And I have acquired some leather, so I think I can get a saddle now. And my inventory is way too full. Let's just drop off some building materials. I am not quite done building yet, but that's okay because I'm not going to make, and I'll put that away so I don't get tempted to eat it. I need to make a melon farm. Let's go in the nature chest. Alright, uh, one, two, 
so if I arrange that, yes, okay, so I can make a saddle. Just grab some iron, and hopefully I'll remember how to make a saddle. I think it was like a hat with, yes. Hopefully this guy doesn't require any special saddle. I don't think so. Woo. My goodness. Oh, man. That is epic. Ah, oh, crap. I just spoiled the construction. Whatever. That's what it looks like so far. Wow, this is great. I'm gonna put you in here with Ninja for now. Oh, and isn't there some kind of inventory or something? Some kind of horse inventory. No. What am I doing? I don't know. On I thought on some Mo creatures' horses there's an inventory. Maybe you have to like put chests on them or something. I don't know, but that's okay because now I have a flying horse. Awesome. Oops, crap. <laughs> I, I was pressing shift to go down as if it was creative mode. Smart. Good thing I didn't do that while, like, exploring or something. But at least the horse came back down. Okay, get down. There we go. Okay, back to work. Okay, hi guys. Um, I've pretty much finished the town center. Of course, there will be finishing touches, but this is the basic body of it. You come in and there are these double stairways, perfect spots for pictures or whatever. And then you go up here, and it's this like balcony thing. Nice view of sunset. I'll have to grab that horse out of the water there. So you got all this. And then you go up here. Oh, and this is missing a roof. But you got this guard tower with view of the sunset. And I'm going to put some castle defenders archers up here. I'm going to do some experimenting, but I think it'll be pretty sweet. And we won't have to worry about zombies bashing down the doors. So that will be nice. And the other thing. Oh, yeah. I got rid of the airship that was parked over there. It was driving me insane. Is that a baby horse? Oh, that's cute. Next up, I'm planning on trying to make a sheep farm or something, and maybe complete my cow farm off camera. And then I think I'll go take on that other castle that I saw in the Twilight Forest, because this is an adventure let's play. And I love building bases, but adventure is great too. I mean, you need a good base to come back to after your adventure. So yeah, I'm going to sleep I guess I don't know what I'm gonna do um yeah I'll sleep no I won't sleep no sleep until that roof is up I don't know why there are so many mobs in my town I'll fix that once I have the castle defenders guys in here so just gonna need a little bit of wood to patch up that roof and then in the morning I will begin putting on armor and stuff for my adventure and I'll oh no 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 next up is finishing touches on the town center because that will include castle defenders guys because I think I might be able to make use of castle defenders guys in my adventure in the twilight forest so that will probably be a good order of things Let's start by just finishing off this guard tower and what I really love about this location is you can see the sun uh, rise over there. And you can watch it set over there because of this nice peninsula. And I think once I'm maximally potioned and geared up, I'll take on some of the pirate ships I've found, put Zeppelin controllers on them, and like park them in this area just for some cool looks. Oh my goodness, look at those creepers. Oh, God, that is scary as heck. All right, so time to sleep. In the morning, we shall finish this. Is that a werewolf? Okay, it doesn't matter because I'm going to sleep.
Okay, let's rock and roll. So, Castle Defenders. I don't know a whole lot about it. I know the recipes, though. Okay, so, to make an archer thing, we're gonna need this. We're gonna need our iron. Might need some diamonds. I'll grab one diamond because I want to make a jukebox for our, our disc. We're gonna put our disc in that town center. Okay, well that was stupid. <laughs> what the heck did I just do? Come on, any more planks? Uh, I guess it's going to be made out of these planks. Don't know what I was thinking there. I guess I just assumed since something showed up over there, it was a completed crafting, and I was all set. All right, let's grab this music disc and I just middle clicked in there because I'm used to a Technic mod that lets you sort inventory like that. All right. Now, where would I put the jukebox? Because <laughs> symmetry is a problem. Whatever. It doesn't really need to be symmetrical when it's something like that. Hope you can hear it. It's not very loud, actually. Oh, that's beautiful background music for this island. Very nice. Alright. Time to make some castle defenders. So, to make an archer. Hope I don't screw this up. Yeah, archer block. So we're going to go put this in an optimal location in my tower. Now, with an archer block, they'll just stand where you put them. It doesn't really matter. This is like the wild frontier over here, so I think I'll put them right there. Boom! And now I'm pretty sure he can shoot at stuff down there. And what happens if I... Oops. Okay. Okay, so I can break the block, put it here, get another one. Nice. And they kind of float there, which is good, because then they can shoot over the wall. Of course, this will be even better with some diamond archers. This one not going to spawn one. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, in this manner, I shall encircle my walls so that any hostile mobs that come over here at night or try to beat down the doors will be shot at. Nice. And there are also knights and mercenaries and healers. Oh! And Castle Defenders also adds castles to raid which are really like these little cobble structures that aren't that amazing, but you can get some nice stuff out of them. And they're, they're a fun little adventure. And they're not as difficult as better dungeons, so you don't really need to gear up and prepare for those. For better dungeons, I spend like a good hour just getting ready for it. It takes like mental preparation because it's so challenging. You just need to be prepared to die and get frustrated. Because those skeleton things I showed you are nothing compared to the pirates. The pirates bring the pain. Let's push you over a little bit. Come on, spawn. And I'll show you night blocks and stuff. I'm going to use knights to attack that castle, I think. Or mercenaries. No, I think I'll just go mercenaries. Okay, so I don't know why no one's spawning on this one. No, I'm just going to leave it there. Alright. Let's go anger the spiders down there. See if they'll shoot them. Hopefully, because that's kind of a bad spot for them if they won't shoot at spiders. Come on, let's go. Why did it back off? Yeah, there you go. Are they too high? I'm worried they might be too high. Hmm. 
Yeah, the spider's probably out of range. Well, we'll see if a diamond archer would be out of range. Should have let the spider live in that case. C418 Mall. This block still hasn't even spawned one. So that's an archer block. Guess we'll just replace that. I'm gonna make another bow and make some make a diamond archer block. Hopefully they'll have some better range. I do have a plan in case their range overall just isn't good enough though. So we don't need to worry about everything being ruined by that. But it would be convenient if they could just stand on the roof. Hello, Will. Oh, I only actually needed one now that I think about it. Okay, so this is how you make upgraded things. Got your archer block with four diamond. Diamond archer block. And you can have diamond mercenary and diamond knight blocks, and that'll just determine what kind of weapons they have. Hopefully I won't have to like kill these guys up here or something if the diamond archers are more effective. I wonder if they look the same. So I remember that I started spawning them from this corner here. In case I have to like push those guys into a different area. And actually, the plan that I have in case this, these guys don't work out is actually pretty cool, so you don't need to worry about that. What I would do is, from here, I guess there'd be some kind of ladder down to a lower balcony below that window or something. But then the archers would have... oops. Okay, well, I hurt him a little bit. He should be fine. Okay. Now this looks pretty defended. Well actually, I guess if I'm hanging out up here and a spider climbs up, it won't last long. But what I'm really concerned about is if any mobs wander in here at night, I want them to get pummeled. Especially over here. They seem to spawn over there where it's not lit up and walk in. And I could light it up, but I'd rather have them die. And that area over there needs to be lit up. But I would like to light these areas- oops. I would like to light these areas up by a more natural means. Okay, so these guys, I guess, will be tested at night. Because... No mobs, really, right now. And the sun won't be going down for a little while. So I'll come up here at night. No, I'll go down there at night and aggro some mobs. See if I can get some zombies busting down the door. And see if they get shot. Oh, and I have this. So I'll just test out how effective these guys are in general. Oh, the other thing I had in mind is building a wall right across this choke point. But it doesn't hurt to just have a random archer guard. He doesn't need to be all high up, though he might die or get blown up by a creeper. I'm oh, wow. <laughs> this thing's covered with archers. I'm glad they don't get confused and shoot at these NPCs, but they they replaced a certificate, so that's all right. Shouldn't happen. So here's my little border border patrol, and the last one I can just place. I'll place them near my house so I can go inside safely. Right over here, in the middle of things, the real town center right now. Oops. Sorry. I keep picking the block up again. That's nice that just making one block can let you spawn a bunch of them. Okay. Last one. And I won't pick it up. Alright. Now what shall I do? I have archer block, which I'll just leave over here. I don't want them to be too close to things that should be... I should worry about getting creepered. Yeah. I wish it would be nighttime now. 
Okay, well, we have sunset. So, what I'm going to do is put together my assault kit for that castle. And then I'll look outside and it'll be dark and there'll be mobs and I'll see what happens with these archers. So, things I want to put away. Bad bow, that. Oops. That goes in there. That goes in there. Valuables. Let's break these blocks because I don't like having blocks. Although they do look cool. Oh, and I'm thinking about using all this lapis I have to make some blocks for decorations. That would go under the finishing touches. Alright, bread. I need lots of food if I'm to go on an adventure, of course. Not those melons, though. Wow, not enough food, actually. Those melons, I'm going to need to make seeds. Ah, here we go. Sunset. Nice sunset. Let's just put this in the oven. Oh, nice. Oops. Alright. Mobs should be out and about pretty soon. Let's see if they have a conflict with the guys up there. Oh yeah, like they'll survive to the guys on the rooftop with these guys over here. Alright, I'll just pull some zombie action. Let's see if I can not get them shot at by him. Please start dying. Nope. Doesn't look like anyone's gonna shoot him. What if he hurts me? Nope. Nope. Um, maybe there's a config file where you can change the range. Cause that's not a very long range. Their accuracy could be a bit better too. But that's not too bad, I guess. Because they fire quickly. Make my town hall look like crap because it's covered in arrows now. That's okay. Be right back. Alright, guys. Well, I looked at the forums and it would seem as if other people are having. Go away, stupid animal. Other people might be having problems with the archers at the heights too. So, um, just not, it might not even be specific to these guys. It might just be specific to some kind of ranged. Oh, shoot. Get away from my house. My god. Hold on. Hold on. Cheat time. Oh. Okay. So, do you guys give me permission to turn off the ogres? You know what? I'm just going to do it. Turning off those dang ogres. Uh, where is... Oh, I see. So you can just turn that down to zero. Okay. Are we back to go back on hard mode? Thank you for ruining my hard work and then destroying all the blocks that you knocked over so I can't pick them up again. Oh, that was a stupid zombie. Oh no, did he kill all my villagers too? Really? Well, that was a pretty disastrous ogre attack. You see why I'm keen to turn him off. He just took out my entire village, actually. I wonder if those people respawn somewhere. There are only guys left. Wow. How am I going to get married now? Well, you can marry the guys, but uh, I'm not going to. Alright, well, I guess I'll rebuild that off camera. See ya. Hey guys, just noticed there is one female left in the village. Sadly, it was the ugliest one, but at least now I can have a kid. Sadly, the village isn't buzzing with activity anymore. But there are there will be a kid for me, so there's Colby, Jessica over there, and Will. So 
I don't need to go out and find another NPC village. I might try to, though. Right now, I'm just trying to patch up all this water flow and stuff, and it looks like I'll have to recommit to evil. I'll have to make dinner and stuff now. Come on. Insurance fraud. The gods are pleased with your sacrifice. Oh, I hope that didn't mock Nobel Peace Prize. Boo! <laughs> the gods are pleased with your sacrifice. Boo! Wait, why did that just... Cry some more! The gods are pleased with your sacrifice. The gods have rewarded your offering. Oh, good. Okay. The reason for this is I need to get some more wood that matches the stuff. And I need minions to do... Oh, God. I, I thought the lion just killed the last woman. I was like, oh, my God. Okay, that snake might actually need to die. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. All of you clear out some forest. Chop me those trees. Chop me those trees. I'll put some torches out because I don't like it when mobs spawn around here. Because they act like the ogres and ruin everything. I was having such a good life and then the ogre just killed half the village and nuked my base. It's going to take me a while to rebuild. I'm not going to do it all on camera though. So, I rebuilt the town center and I also killed all the archers because I felt like since they weren't doing anything from up there, all they really did was increase the chance of a creeper attack. Because while I was repairing all this, I noticed that they do seem to be able to get in fights with creepers and get blown up. I did leave those guys out there. I went around placing more torches. Uh, one second. Okay, sorry about that. So now, I'm gonna go to sleep. I I think I'm going to Is there anything in there? No. Alright. Cause I think what's happening is Jessica, the villager, is teleporting back to that other village at night, like the original place. And not hanging out around here, so in the day she might be around here and then I can set her home here. So she'll stop doing that because I need to marry her since the rest of the village died. Looks like they killed a spider or something. Skeleton. Because there are arrows everywhere. Uh. Is this a white dolphin or is that normal? Because there's like a super rare kind of dolphin that's an albino dolphin. And that would be a nice thing to have, I suppose. Not that I ever go riding around on dolphins. But if I... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put stuff away. Off camera, I'll go on... Oh, you know what? I didn't finish fixing the town center. The chests have to be all messed up at this point, am I right? Yeah. I don't even think I have enough to fix that completely. Yeah, we need two more. Huh. I don't know what the deal is with the Minecraft Comes Alive people. For all I know, there will be several villagers hanging out at the village. I really have no idea. That would be nice. Okay, put these materials in there. Whatever. Bring a shovel, pickaxe. I'll bring a bone. No, I won't. Grab some food. 
just gotta do a quick airship expedition. I deleted the waypoint to that place, but I know the way because of the galleon waypoint. I believe. I think I should be able to find my way back there. And worst case scenario, I look at my older videos and see what the coordinates were. A little bit of wood to build the airship out of. A little bit of cobble in case something bad happens. Alright, let's see about grabbing food. Yeah, I'll make a sheep fire. Oh, where did the cow go? Can someone tell me uh, if my animals are despawning for whatever reason? I didn't think that used to happen. Like, I don't know. I thought you were able to collect pretty decent sized animal farms. Whatever, this is our airship. I will now visit that village. Oh, I won't be able to carry anyone on this thing. What the heck am I thinking? So yeah, I'll do the ARC mission again if I have to later. One thing I should tell you, part of Castle Defenders mod is that little type of dungeon right there. That's the type of thing you're supposed to raid with your guys. They'll also have defenders on them. Oh. Oh, well this is a nice little area, isn't it? Yep. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm exactly right about where the NPCs are because that must have newly generated. I don't know. I'll find it. Crap, it must be so annoying for you guys to watch me just cut and uncut and then cut the video, but in the nice little area, as you can see, I've gone like 30 seconds before noticing this thing. There's another... some kind of dungeon. I think this is better dungeons. Or... Might be a primarily underground one. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Whoa, guys, I'm back, and I found another pirate cave and another pirate ship. Pretty sure this is not the one that I already took on. By took on, I mean flew like a little wimp up to the X to grab my loot. I'll just get down here. Build a little step. Whoa, I'm still moving with the ship. dig this up and get out of here before the pirates catch me. Aw oh, man, just eyes of ender. Oh, I have a shovel. And of course a diamond block. Sometimes you can get multiple diamond blocks out of this. Well, I mean not out of this digging bit, but depending upon the chest. Yeah, I've been finding tons of new stuff actually. There's that ship down there. Over that way there's just you can see that little circle thing over there and those cobble dungeons from Castle Defenders are absolutely everywhere. I was kinda worried that I would not find enough of those to make a kind of unit that it brings but nope I was wrong. They're everywhere. Now I will just keep putting waypoints until I get back to that NPC village. All right, found the village. Let's see. Oh, well, finding the village at night. Great idea. For all I know, they like... No, they still exist somewhere at night. So let's see if there are any people here. I see a werewolf over there, so I might have to do a hasty takeoff. Let's just quickly go to the houses, see if there were people. Nope, this one is still just as I left it. So is this one. Oh man, I was hoping there would be people here, but it would appear they've just completely died and not respawned. And I don't know where the heck that Jessica person was, because she showed up after the ogre attack. Well, I'll leave a waypoint here. Oops. Yeah, see stuff also includes that little dungeon over there. Those better dungeons are just all over the place. It's kind of remarkable. <laughs> Alright, no people here. Maybe I'll look around for another village. I think that's what I'll do. And I won't do any video cutting to show you 
more dungeons and stuff because you're probably quite sick of that. I wonder what adds these oases. They're really nice. But yeah, you're probably sick of... I wonder how this video looks because I feel like I've been playing for three hours, but uh, I don't know how long I've actually recorded. So for you guys, it might just look like, here's a dungeon, here's a dungeon. Crap, we got destroyed. Here's a dungeon, here's a dungeon. Now I'm going to do this. Now it got destroyed. So yeah, going to go look for another NPC village. Yay! Guys, I found one. Very far away, but I found one. New people. Looks actually better than the other one that I had. And I'm holding a record in more ender eyes because there was a dungeon over there. And there's like a chimney where after you beat the boss, you're supposed to pull a lever and it triggers some TNT, which blows up the chest at the top. Oh, I see lots of girl names too. And drops down all the loot, but I just flew up to the top, grabbed the loot, which included C418 Chirp. Oh, and oops, okay. Hello, villagers. gonna see how many I can kidnap probably not that many oh I bought building materials okay let's just save the level oh it looks like they're right near a sphinx thing too yes they are getting some strangely bad frame rate actually hold on oh wow what the heck it's one of those dungeons again. I like those. Haven't raided one of those before. I've decided that after I grab these people, I'm going to head home, marry one of these people, and then while she takes care of the baby, I'm going to go off and be all heroic and stuff. Take on Twilight Forest Castle, and after I do that, I'm just going to roll around the land raiding all the dungeons and cobble fortresses and stuff that I find because there's an insane amount of them out there okay I'm going to restart my minecraft now because I think it might need a little break okay I'm back time to capture some villagers let's just wait did I rejoin this to the world no because it doesn't wanna now if I move will it bring those no what am I gonna do? There we go. Hmm, I need to keep in mind the amount of building materials I brought. Ah. It accepts cobble. Yay. Yeah, that's enough room for everybody. Hello. Of course, I need to start my reputation over all over again whoa haven't seen that skin before need to grab some followers ah there's a priest oh and priest and you can get divorced from your wife if you're angry you would go to the priest and if the village that you kidnapped from didn't have a priest you wouldn't be able to get divorced honestly I don't see why you couldn't just kill her but Go. You can just kill her. So I don't know why you wouldn't. I mean. Hey, you. You gotta follow me. Follow me, Leon. And you follow me. Wait, did I just say stay here? Oh, yes. Okay. Hopefully I won't need to punch anyone in the face to get them onto the cyclo. Oops. Who did I just say stop following? Why am I hearing explosions? Oh, librarian. I don't know why I was hearing explosions. Oh, it's from that underground boss. That was really scaring me, actually. One moment. All right, let's grab some more. Uh, this guy wasn't following. Tim the Miner. Okay, that's plenty. Oh, a guard, yay. You need the guard. Rosa looks cool. Oh, and you. Oh, this guy looks like a psychopath, actually. We don't really need psychopaths in my village. 
Oh no. Oh, that's a girl. Oh, I see what they were trying to go for there. At a glance, it looked kind of weird, that texture. Alright. Hopefully, trying to be greedy and bring everyone like this won't result in falling from the ship. Whoa. Can everyone fit? I'm going to double up on... Oh, they're going to teleport home. No, they're not. They're following me. Oops. Stop that. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, someone just got hurt. Hopefully we're not under attack or anything. Alright, guys. Probably gonna knock me off of my airship. Mutiny. I will now try to carry them home. See you there. Hey guys, looks like I accidentally found another NPC village. Right down there. No waypoint. At least now we have a good stock of people. In case these guys have an accident. Yeah. Oh baby, I told you I wouldn't uh, start recording again anymore for dungeons, but look at that! <whistles> that is probably the mother of all better dungeons dungeons. Look at that thing. That's made of iron blocks and obsidian and gold blocks right there. That's what those wings are. It's full of guards. It's too big for a Zeppelin controller to even capture. But I think since this is so cool, we might be able to go into the config file and bump up the max size for this. It's a sick, sick ship. And since it's so cool, I don't even think I would mine up the iron. I don't need it. But yeah, definitely had to show that to you guys. Better dungeons, quite amazing. The terrain generation is just... It, it makes cooler things than some skilled builders make. It's very, very nice. And I still don't think I've lost any NPCs in this journey. Yay. And again, I apologize for doing this, but... Just couldn't help but notice... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Well, I'll just free loot. There's another pirate cave there, but I know if I hop out to try and raid it, all the NPCs will be all over the island, getting killed, getting me killed. And on the minimap, you can see the X actually looks like an X. <laughs> be pretty cool to go in there and, like, hijack the boat that's in there and pilot it out of the island under heavy archer fire. Except uh, they would probably break all the zeppelin blocks and stuff because arrows can break blocks that are being recognized by a zeppelin. Ooh, another ship. So once we go on our raiding spree, we can grab this ship, too. No, I'm not going to need that many ships in my port. Just the coolest ones. And maybe a couple of those little ones, because it'll just be a one-kill grab. Oh, <laughs> just saw slime through the lag. Like, ships like that are easy. I can have as many of those as I want. Seeing some sea creatures and stuff. Oh my god, home is 2,000 blocks away. I, like, don't want to stop recording again, because I know the moment I do, I'm just going to find some more stuff. Thanks to Better Dungeons. I really hope the video doesn't look too choppy because of that. Just like... Like I said earlier. I, I forget what I say, and I repeat myself also, because I'm cutting up the video so much. So, yeah, I'll just make waypoints and not point out anything to you, unless it's the most amazing thing ever until I get home. And we're back. We have just arrived back at the village with a ship filled with NPCs. And we will set their homes in various places around here. Hold on, let me turn the sound down a little bit. Oh, oh no! Oh! That was bad started killing some of them, I guess. Oh, you know what? It's because they're in the ship. So before I 
put it back into the land, I'm going to have everyone follow me off. And set their homes and stuff. I hope my land over here is pretty safe now. I mean, I put torches everywhere. Whoa, whoa, okay. Stop following me. Stop following me. Stop following me. Stop following me. Just gonna make them all stop following me, and then I'll go around setting homes. Wouldn't it be funny if you could marry the priest? I wonder if you can. And then who do you go to for the divorce? The priest again? And everyone runs off to go all over the place. So, you will set your home. Priest. Yeah, you can just... Oh, yes, this is a fascinating building. Guys. There's that dog. Oh, you already have your home. You need a home. They, like, act like they're having conversations. And we'll see if anyone went into our nice town center. Oh, yes. Do you like it in here? Let's see if there's anyone else. Let's make sure everything looks good in here. Hey. Okay, you're not following me. Oh, yes. Let's try out our new record. Oh, that's a nice one. I want to make a sheep farm so I can put some carpet in this place, maybe. Alright, NPC has been relocated. I think I'll call the video there, guys. And, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave comments, and if you've watched the entire video, though it might have been annoying at some parts for some reason, uh, yeah, just leave a like and tell your friends. So see ya.